Hello everybody, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. Uh, this will be a very short message, and I, I hope this will be a real blessing to you. Uh, the title of this video is, Don't Worry, Be Happy. I uh, Sometimes I feel guilty about how happy I am. Uh, I woke up, up this morning, as usual, with a, a smile on my face, and I just was thinking, I am so happy every morning. I'm so blessed. And I say, thank you, Jesus, every morning. And I'm just almost giddy happy throughout the day. And I encounter a lot of people in my life, in the world, and here on YouTube that uh, Sadly, they don't have this kind of peace and joy and happiness that I have. And it's uh, that kind of breaks my heart, but it doesn't take away my joy and happiness. But I want to share with you as briefly as I can why I'm so happy, why I'm not worried, and uh, I want you to have this same thing. Um, first of all, this life here, the Bible says, is like a vapor. It appears for a short time and then it disappears. What is really important is what happens after this life is over, off into eternity. But that means doesn't mean that we don't want to be happy in the here and now. But the, in the big picture, the ultimate uh, focus should be eternity. So... If you've ever thought much about eternity and what happens after we die and what's the purpose of life uh, and you've been wondering and you think this is important to figure it out and get it right, uh, I, I went through the same thing many, many years ago. After my mother died, uh, I was faced with death and mortality and I needed answers. What is the purpose of life? What happens after we die? So I started reading the Bible and I, I learned the truth. And ever since then, uh, life has been joyful and I don't worry and I am happy. So what is it that you need to know so you don't have to worry and you can be happy too? First of all, uh, many people are worried about if they're going to go to heaven or not. and uh, I can understand why they're worried because most people think that uh, if you go to heaven or you don't go to heaven, let's say you're, you believe there's a heaven and a hell, and if you think that people go to heaven because they're really good and the people who go to hell or go to hell there because they're really bad, then no wonder you're worried because you can never really know if you're good enough. And in fact, you aren't. And no one is. That's what the Bible tells us. No one is good enough to go to heaven. And, and that's why we're all, we're all lost, the Bible tells us. And we need to be saved. Uh, in order to go to heaven based upon our own um, merit, uh, the Bible tells us we'd have to be perfect. And can you... Go before God if you died right now and say, I've been perfect my whole life. I've, I've never done one thing wrong. I've never even had any bad thoughts. Of course you can't. No one can do that. And that's why we're in a predicament. Uh, it, we, we should realize that our situation is hopeless and helpless. But the reason I'm so joyful is because the Bible tells me that... Uh, God demonstrated his love for us in that while we were sinners, even though we're sinners and we're not perfect, the Bible says Christ died for us. The Bible says God loves us so much that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, that whoever will believe in him will not perish, but will instead have everlasting life. So if you understand that, yes, 
uh, you should be worried if you're trying to get to heaven through your own efforts by joining religions and being religious and striving and you're you're going to fail it's impossible but if you understand that and you understand that God loves us so much that he intervened on our behalf he gave his son Jesus Christ so that he could die for our sins if you understand that now you can see, wait a second, I don't have to worry. There's hope. There's a promise. And that's exactly what happened. Uh, Jesus uh, is eternal God Almighty. And he loved us so much, he became a man. Jesus Christ, the Son of God. God manifest in the flesh. He said the reason he became a man was so that he could die for our sins. He, he, he gave his life as a ransom. A ransom is a payment made to set us free. And that's what he did. He suffered and died on the cross. He paid for all of our sins. Now, we don't have to go before God and plead our case. Well, God, I, I've done good. Please let me into heaven. You don't have to worry about that. Don't worry. You're not going to be judged based upon how good or bad you've been. You're going to be judged based upon, did you trust Jesus Christ? I put my faith in Jesus Christ 29 years ago and I'm joyful every day because the Bible says uh, I can know for certain I'm going to go to heaven. I don't have to worry and have doubts about it. I'm promised eternal life in heaven, not because any good things I've done, but because of what Jesus Christ did for me. He died for my sins. So that's why I don't worry. I'm confident, I'm certain, and I want you to stop worrying about salvation and heaven and hell. Just, I want you to not have to worry about that ever again and have the joy, what the Bible, what we call in Christianity is the blessed assurance. We are assured, we're guaranteed we're gonna to go to heaven because of our faith in Jesus. And Jesus did something uh, so remarkable to give us this certainty, this confidence. Uh, he raised himself from the dead. He died and he was buried. And on the third day, he raised himself back to life. And he, he said that this resurrection would be the sign to prove his claims were true. He claimed that he's God. He claimed that he's the Savior. He claimed he has power over life and death. And he promises life everlasting to you if you'll trust him. It's the resurrection that gives me the confidence that my faith in Jesus is justified. Now, simply I'm saying, uh, stop trying to strive and work your way to heaven and think, and, and always be uncertain. In fact, you can be certain that <laughs> you can never be good enough to qualify for heaven. Be certain of that, and instead trust Jesus. And then you can be certain that Jesus, his promise, his faithfulness is true. So, if you will put your faith in Jesus right now, uh, you won't have to worry about the future. And you can wake up every day with a smile on your face. You can be joyful all day long, knowing that your future is, is assured in heaven. Don't worry. Be happy. Trust Jesus Christ and have peace like a river, joy like a fountain, and be happy every day. I hope you'll do it. Put your faith in Jesus now. Bless you in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.